they did do a detailed analysis and built it up. So you, you do start from the bottom and work up, but you always start at the top to say, what could we change to get there? Did I answer your question? Well, I, my other assumption is that you have to have some services. You have to provide some services along the way to get to your goal. You can't do this without services to help educate the people. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's part of the plan, I guess, right. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> I need to see if you are a funder, meaning you invest in nonprofits, could you please stand? Come on, get up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now remember who you are. <laughs> if you are a board member, please stand up. Oh, very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to ask a question of the board members. Don't sit down. Okay, if you are a, what I, who, who's standing right now? A board member. <laughs> Tell me what you think of the value of this is. as a board member. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong screen. What do you think the value of that is? Gives you direction. What are you going to do when you go to board member uh, board meetings now? What are you paying attention to? Track the progress. Track the progress. You going to be micromanaging your uh, team anymore? Do I hear any applause from the, from the executive director? <laughs> no. Is it clear what your job is? Well, probably not quite, but it's getting there. You you probably need to see a little more detailed plan, some of the key initiatives and that kind of thing. Okay. Let's have those uh, executive directors stand up. <laughs> now here's what we're talking, what's the value of defining uh, a three-year impact? And we just heard from the board members, okay? And uh, now I want to talk to the executive directors. As an executive director of CRC, what's changed for you? You have targets. More clarity of purpose. More clarity of purpose. And more measurable goals. Measurable goals. You also have a board who understands what all those are. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you also have a result that you can achieve and show the people who support your organization. Yep. That it's achievable. What do you think it's like for the people who report to you? Do you need to direct them? Do you need to direct them? <coughs> Do you think Lauren Paz, CRC, her staff, need to question whether they are going to work on the capital campaign or they're going to work on a volunteer management program for case managers? If the girl, gal who heads that up uh, has any questions, is she going to run to you for them? Does she know what you're trying to do? Exactly. A little different. Okay. Sit down. Thank you. Okay. There are some folks here who told me they raised dollars. If you're raising dollars, would you please stand up? Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, now what's new for you? What's different? You can quantify exactly what you need to raise. You know how much you need to raise. What else? You've got a great message. When you, you're out there, you've got a very clear message. Oh, now that's a fun one. I like the sounds of that. What would you be saying if you were? Any ideas? I'm trying to remember what, you know, we're trying to take women or men out of domestic violence situations. Yes, this is what we're going to do. This has been our success. We have an 89% success ratio. Yep. For every $1,000 you give us, come on, you guys are the development. How would you do this? <laughs> You can quantify it. $1,000, we can put two people in of this. Or, mm -hmm. I mean, you can actually take a bunch of success metrics out of them now yeah. and create your sales pitches. Do you like it better now? Do you think your job's easier? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. 
All right, let's have those funders stand back up. Do you want to invest in this organization? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Why? They know where they're going. You know what you're getting. You feel needed. You feel needed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Any other comments, ideas on that? Well, you feel like there's going to be a return on your investment. Aha! That's a very interesting question. Okay. Any other comments? Sit down. Thank you very much. All right. You thought it was easy. There's a little more now. I'm going to give you a few more. So I'm going to show you the role of the organization and their purpose before they asked these questions and had outcome planning and what, what occurred afterwards. All right. So you got the role before, the role after. Here's your first case. Now get ready. I'm going to ask you questions. The first one is a matchmaker. And they believe that their purpose was to increase volunteering in San Diego. Anybody know who I'm talking about? Volunteer San Diego. Now, after they asked these questions, they came up with something different. They were a funder and a matchmaker. Now, that's interesting. And what was the major impact in three years? They would provide $6 million in human capital to over 500 nonprofit agencies. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. If you were in fund development, would you like this change? If you were to go to the San Diego Foundation, now who, raise your hand if you were in fund development again, and you were to go to the San Diego Foundation, what would you tell them? San Diego Foundation, if you want to change an entire sector, we know who the nonprofits are in that sector. We will leverage your investment. We will enable them to acquire and train high value volunteers. And for every dollar you put there, we're going to provide the feet on the street, the smart feet on the street, to make it happen. Do you think you could go after national grants? Did you know Volunteer San Diego had not gone, hadn't gotten any national grants, any local grants? You know how many they have in the hopper right now? Over 50,000 to 100,000 each? Five. A four. They just found out on when they didn't get it. Sorry. Hmm. A little bit of an interesting change there. All right. Let's see. Who were the executive directors? What do you think you're going to focus on now? What's your key metric? What are you measuring for success here? I'm sorry? Six million in human capital. Okay, so you can get volunteers that paint buildings, or you can get volunteers that help nonprofits build their websites. Which one are you going to focus on? Which helps the nonprofit agency more? Probably the, the website, yeah. Yeah. So what happens for the executive director here? You should be shifting programs a little bit. It actually can just transform your organization. But what's interesting is who was involved in deciding you wanted to go in that direction? All your stakeholders, right? Yeah. OK. You ready for the next one? Oh, wait. Before we do 